What's up everyone? Welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. In today's video, I'm going to do a highly requested video. I've got a lot of people asking, hey, you use some of uh, some terms that we don't know. And so I want to go over some of the different words that we use for different things. And I'm going to call it Sawyer Talk. I know that this is a tool, but I refer to it a lot as our cant hook and I just wanted to make sure everybody knows what that is. It's a tool that we use for rolling on the logs. You see me use it a lot um, in my videos and it's a very helpful tool, very necessary for any Sawyer to have unless you have a machine that places the log right on your mill and even then I use it um, to roll the logs manually if that's necessary. So yep, this is called a cant hook. We have quite a few of them. This one has definitely seen better days. It's been welded quite a few times, but hey, um, it still works and gets the job done. It's generally, generally referred to as a slab. It's just the barky piece. Basically, there's four pieces, four pieces that <laughs> come off of each log and just the four sides of the bark and we generally call them slabs but i know it gets confusing because sometimes if i'm say cutting hardwood and instead of canting up my log i just cut it through and leave live edge on both sides um, i also call that a slab and so i know it gets confusing because you know one is very valuable and does not get thrown in this pile and the other does get thrown in this pile so very different but um, sometimes I refer to a slab as also a very valuable piece of wood basically and here we have what we call a flitch now I've gotten probably a lot of comments about what's a flitch what's a flitch Emerald what are you talking about well you can also refer to them as a jacket board. They are basically the second cut that comes off after a slab. Um, it still has bark on it, so it's not a saleable board yet. Uh, this one's in the trash pile just because it's thin, but usually I cut all of my flitches at one inch, which then you guys, as you guys know, uh, we run through the edger afterwards. So a flitch is a board that's already cut but still has bark on both sides and still needs to be removed uh, and i also refer to them as a jacket board as well both are correct here's another tool for you guys i believe that this is called a pickerel um, very helpful for rolling rounds we use it up with the firewood processor to you know you grab around like this and uh, just makes it super easy to move it around basically uh, turn it up any which way makes it super convenient it's actually a really nice tool especially when they're brand new and nice and sharp very handy we've used this a lot obviously you can see from um, well that has battle scars and it shows so yeah these between these two tools they get a lot of use out of them and we also have a different pickerel that is a little bit smaller i used to use it actually when i was swamping is i'd have a it was a lot smaller a shorter handle and i before we had a draw a board drawback i would take the pickerel and get the slab and pull it off with with the pickerel um, now that we have an lt40 and we have a board drawback it's a lot easier a lot of less labor on these uh, swampers end and it's just not necessary but uh, it's definitely a helpful tool when we had a little bit lower grade mill these are what's called jigs we have quite an abundance of them. We use them for a lot of different things, but here at the mill, we mainly use them for the slabs and the flitches. As I mentioned, they're really helpful, uh, especially with the forks. You know, the whole idea is that you can put forks under there. So really helpful to keep everything off the ground. Definitely a necessity, honestly. I think that he had these actually just fabbed up for him, had them made. Um, some of these I know he made himself too. He's, the boss isn't the greatest uh, welder, but he has definitely experimented with some things um, and 
tried to save himself money by doing it himself. But now we have Grandpa, and he's actually a great welder, so uh, he, he's been doing a lot of the welding lately. This is another example of what we use the jigs for. This is the byproduct or waste product of what we get off of the edger. These, we don't actually have a specific name for them, but uh, except scraps, basically, these are literally the edges from the edger. So this is what comes off of the flitches. This is what we cut off of the flitches to make them actually saleable boards. So there you go. Perfect example of what we use the jigs for and then also a, what comes off of the flitches. You can't have a log yard without dunnage. And I know that might be a made up word that we use for it. I don't know, but you'll hear me refer to these two by fours cut to 50 inches as dunnage. They're perfect for laying down anywhere you want so you can put piles on um, the ground from forks, move stuff around. It's what we put all of like the custom orders on is just the dunnage so that we can get the forks under. You don't wanna ever lay a board down just on the ground. You always wanna have something under it. Uh, you never know, it saves a lot of time to, if you make sure you always have dunnage under your piles because you might be able to use forks to lift it and that just saves a world of hassle. We finally got this all organized out front here. It was such a mess, but this is where we put all of our custom orders. Uh, just keep them separated. We can put names on them and they have their own little spot. This one is a whole order. I think it's almost complete here, but you can see an example of what we use the dunnage for here. Um, so we can just basically go right under that with the forks and pick up that whole pile now that we have that new uh, John Deere machine. That thing will just pick up this whole pile like it's nothing. <laughs> it's amazing actually. Can't make this video without mentioning stickers. A lot of people don't actually know what a sticker is. Uh, it's basically just a chunk of wood that you stick in between your piles of lumber to let them dry. We usually have a much larger pile. We actually have this whole jig here that was built for us for stickers specifically. We cut ourselves a lot of stickers and somehow they just managed to go missing. I'm, I'm serious, like our piles are down so low and where are all the stickers? So here's what a sticker is used for. This is not the best example of a pile because, well, because you can see that it, the stickers aren't very lined up. You want to make sure that when you're stickering, the stickers are as lined up as possible. This is our kind of like our miscellaneous eight foot pile. So it's not even really separated out with, by dimension. But if you want to turn the camera, you can see how low our actual inventory is right now. Kind of crazy. We have a pile of stickers right there. It's still not that much. Of course, this tool is the most important. Not everybody knows the true power of a thermos. You know this thing can keep your beverage warm for like 24 hours? Invest in that. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.